So spring is finally here in northern Wisconsin, and this grass is starting to show signs of actually starting to wake up. It's mainly like the fescue grass is turning green. The bluegrass is still maybe a little dormant, but it's time to feed. So funny thing I noted when I did the dormant overseed, I poked a hole with a ski pole. I have one, at least one dormant overseed grass seed sprouted, sprouted right inside that hole. So let's take a look at some soil test results. So this is my result from three seasons ago, the first season I had this lawn. Um, had some green on there, but I had a lot of red too. Uh, pH 5.3, that's pretty low. Capacity to retain nutrients, the CEC, cation exchange capacity, 5.2, that's also pretty low. So I had a little bit of work to do. This is the next season, so obviously I fixed the pH a little bit. I'm up to 5.9. But... On this one, my capacity my to retain nutrients, it dropped. It dropped to 4.2. I wasn't sure why. So I looked up some products I could find, and then I got something to help raise that up. And then this season, pH is up just a little bit. I'm up to 6. I'm close to an optimal. And it looks like my CEC also jumped up a little bit. And if you're wondering what the capacity to retain nutrients or cation exchange capacity is, it's the ability for your lawn to take nutrients in but also hold on to them. Like a really sandy soil would have a really low CEC, the nutrients would just go straight through and you're fertilizing all the time. The better your CEC becomes, the healthier your lawn becomes. The product that I use to help fix this is, it's by the Andersons, it's called Humachar. It has humic acid and biochar. The dosing rate is one pound per thousand, but it's not fertilizer, it's just a soil amendment. So I'm actually gonna put two pounds per thousand because this won't burn your lawn or anything. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So moving on, RX Soil, <clears throat> they give you like a recommendation. So you can see three pounds of nitrogen, 90 pounds of lime, and then a little bit of potassium. They also will break it down and they'll give you how much you should put in the spring. If you should use the, they recommend micronutrients, but I never put those down. How much lime I should use. It is worth noting that this weight they give is based on the fertilizer they recommend. So they will have links that link you to fertilizer this pound only matches the fertilizer they are saying you should use. So they were saying, when I clicked the link, it was Fertilome. And I'd have to use three bags of this to get the right ratio. Because my CEC is up, I don't need to fertilize in the summer, according to them. I probably will still do something organic, maybe like malorganite or maybe something with a little less phosphorus. And then in the fall, this is your heavy nitrogen application. This is your best time to grow and feed your lawn. So two times... Early fall, late fall, I will give, is saying like a pound of nitrogen. I might do that different, honestly, like the nitrogen push. So this is the fertilizer I go with. It's Scott's Ultra Feed. I can't use a pre-emergent because I did the dormant overseed, so I can only give lawn food. So I'm going to be hand pulling weeds, I think, this spring. But And then I got one bag of lime. This one's going to give me 0 0.9 pounds of nitrogen per thousand if I use the regular rate, not the Ultra Feed rate. And then I will be adding in the Humachar. I'm going to give the two pounds per thousand, a whole 40 pound bag. So I got the lime spread first. It's a large particle size and not very much of it at 40 pounds. So I was only able to go one direction on my stripes. I got pretty decent throw with the my spreader though. So I think I have enough overlap, but I'm not too worried. It's just lime. And then with the Scott's Ultra Feed, this might be my mo new favorite like food fertilizer. Although it is a six-month fertilizer, but the particle size are very consistent, and there was like no clumping. It was kind of nice. I didn't know why they made it blue, but then I noticed why they made it blue. So fertilizer, though, I go multiple directions, up, down, across, and diagonal. Like no patches, no stripes for me. And then this is where I noticed the blue. The blue stands out better against your lawn than white does. So you can see, actually see your spread, see how its coverage is, and then... You see those blue particles, they really like, they like light up in your lawn. So like and subscribe for more content. I will post update videos. I got the dormant overseed, see if that actually starts showing signs of life. And then I got the first smoke coming up, I'm sure pretty soon it's going to rain the next couple days. Hopefully we can get to this point this year without having to spend a lot of money on water and extra fertilizer. So that's my goal. So like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.